Well, welcome back to Mother 3, y'all. Oh, you're that part-timer from the other day. Perfect timing. Keep watch for me, will ya? I'm gonna go inside and help look for some escaped monkeys. With my handy-dandy Guitar Hero controllers. So apparently the legendary musical band, The Monkeys, are in this lab. So we must venture forth and see if we can't get their autograph. And maybe I should see what is in this vending machine. See what it vends. Maybe it vends machines itself? Very good stick. Oh. That does seem very good. So I'm gonna go equip that right now. There, now I have a very good stick. This area is off-limits, and don't you dare try to find some other way inside. Oh, I will. That's the special medicine here, not sold in any vending machines. Can I interest you in some? Perhaps. But it just happens to be offense and defense spray. Which we could possibly use to get more experience. Like, it'd be good to use on the black beanling, but I won't, I won't waste my time with it. I don't require it. Although it may come in handy a little later. Oh, you're the part-timers who start here today, right? Um, yes. Okay, cool. You can get inside to the back of the mini-theater. The mini-theater's to the right of the entrance, in case you didn't know. Go in through there and change your clothing. It's good to have you on board. Well, great. I'm so, so happy to be welcomed into the uh, pig mask family. There are pig masks in here. Put them on. No. Oh, you're not even going to give me a sly remark for being rebellious towards the pig mask army? Well, fine. I'll conform then and be a good little pig soldier. So, let's continue going this direction and make this suspicious present disappear. I have a chimera map. I always used to call it, uh, can I, I can't even say it incorrectly now. Shimmera? I, it was always used to be Shimmera to me until I was, I don't know, 16? Until I heard someone say Chimera, and I'm like, what entire nation's a Chimera? I know what a Shimmera is. It's kind of like how a, a Chocobo always used to be a Kookaboo. Like, that was a Kookaboo for me until you know, at least high school. What kind of Big City Cola is what it is. I was just about to go home for today, and I have to look for some stupid monkeys. But if I find their autograph and sell it on eBay, they will... I won't have to work in this wretched place ever again. Oh, hey, let's follow that inconspicuous trash can. Oh, hey, there's also a hot spring. I don't think I need it yet. Have you seen an inconspicuous garbage can? Let's see, the next room over is the specimen room. And then, and then, and then, those stairs take you to the first floor. And then, and then, and then, there's an elevator in that room over there with the door open. I'm all confused again, but I think that's right. Should I repeat all that? Please don't. I tried to make a point to forget it already. So... This is a horsantula. This is a balding eagle. And this here is a dogfish. That is your geology ref... Uh, geology lesson for today. Oh, hey! That's awfully familiar. This bundle of nerves, I think that was on the... The big bro from earlier in Osohe. I knew that looked familiar. Oh, get out of here, you stupid monkeys. That I definitely don't recognize. And they don't recognize me because... I am in a... mask. Look out! So now it is time for an almost mecha lion to suddenly attack our party. So... Let's... Increase everyone's offense a couple of times. Find out what this thing's weak to, in case that comes in handy. Weak against crying, I should probably flash it until it cries. And then worry about the poison that has been inflicted upon my party. So I'm gonna do that. So bask in the glory of me doing that. 
And now might not be the worst time to use some of these Thunder Bombs. Although a regular attack from Bone Rush would probably do more damage. 73! I don't feel so over-leveled anymore. Couldn't stop crying, so that'll help with my... my pain being inflicted problem. That should mitigate that nuisance, somewhat. I should also use a couple of defense ups. And see what kind of damage I can inflict with a good old 16 hit combo. Or 5 hit combo, as the case may be. Not always a 16 hit. But I will hit up my defense another round to protect my teammates. Ten hits. I'm getting up there, I'm getting back up to the 16, and then I will feel comfortable in removing poison from Mega Harv. So let's raise Bone Rush's offense to the max. Yeah, one hit combo. That's my favorite hit combo! But I may as well wait until it's max health. I'm not removing poison from Mega Harv until I get a 16 hit combo. I've decided. Even though I got a smash, that doesn't. it's not good enough. It has to be 16 hit combo. Now, if I don't do it for the rest of this fight, then, well, I guess I'm just gonna be poisoned for the rest of the game. Started to slow down. I was losing my pace. I think we might need to heal a little bit of Bone Rush here. Get a little bit of Bone Rush all healed back up to full HP. Don't use a biting attack while you're crying. That's like running with scissors. Yay, I did it. So now I can heal the poison from Mega Harv. And not a moment too soon. Not that I couldn't have to begin with, but I just wanted to be all like, I'm gonna put some sort of stipulation on this, because that'll bring the viewers in. Because anything I do that is a complete surprise, that's in the... well within the random crapshoot of you even finding my video to begin with, and then sticking around this long to even hear that stipulation, then to actually see me fulfill said stipulation. It's not too likely, but maybe one of you, uh, were susceptible to that combination. Can you really be susceptible to something like that? I'm gonna say so. Just cuz. Just cuz I feel like it. <laughs> that was quite a... a shot. Did more than Bone Rush's 16 hit combo, I do believe. Uh, more healing? may be in order. I, f I feel like I remember that there's an unwinnable battle, or not an unwinnable battle, but a very difficult to win battle later in the game. It might be this battle, but I really don't think it is. I think it might be a very similar enemy to this, although maybe we'll find out shortly. Unless you already know, then you won't have to find out shortly. You know already. There's no shortly for you. It doesn't get any shortlier than right now. Four twelve. Not too bad. I think I have more healing. Yeah, like I have a yogurt still. And a plain old nut bread. Here you go, Mega Harv. Have a plain old nut bread. Nothing wrong with a little bit of nut bread. Right. 
was gonna say die already, but then it, it died already. I bonked myself in the nose. And the almost mecha line was totally scrapped, and I win. 4,500 experience points, and a few more levels as well. Which will always be welcomed into the Mega Harp home. Yeah, you want you want some more? You want some more? Yeah, drop kick. Just in the nick of time. Are you okay, cute part timer? Yeah, I'm. I'm great. How many are left? Just the one now. The one. You mean the red one with the huge mouth? Yeah, that one. That one we don't have to worry about, yeah. That thing means serious trouble. Yeah, it does. If you see it, you, uh, don't try and fight it. Just standing here won't solve anything. For now, let's hurry and seal the exits. Like, balance a ball on your nose type of seal? I hope so. Because that would be the most entertaining way to exit a building ever. Hey, cute part-timer. There's actually one more that's still lurking around here somewhere. And that's way more dangerous than the one just now. Yeah, it's pretty dangerous. If you happen to see a red thing with a gigantic mouth, get the hell out of Dodge. Or, uh, Chrysler. Listen, play, pay close attention now. If you run to a red huge mouth, Shimmera, do absolutely nothing to it other than run away from it. You got that? Yeah, they're pretty heavy-handed with the warning, but it's probably for the best, or else it could be bad news. So I'm going to save the game. So I've successfully saved the game, and I don't know, I'm gonna go this way. I'm not entirely certain the direction it is in which I want to go. It doesn't appear to be this way. So it must be this way. Well, that sounds friendly. Is it... would it happen to be about? Uh, let's go up here. Those guys are having a nap. Maybe I can talk to this one? Oh, all he had to say was oink. Nothing to, uh... oh, there he is. <laughs> Great time to feel feverish. I'm not going to be dodging around him at all. He, I'd appreciate it if you'd stop following me. Um, is he always just going to be behind me now? Is, is this how this works? Well, I might just be toast, ladies and gentlemen. But maybe I'm okay, if that's the uh, caveat. Until just now, where I, I will be dead. I'm not gonna save my game here. However, I think I will wait for my... Uh, my fever to go away, which happens to be right now. So, Psy Counter A. So I'm gonna Psy Counter Run. Or not. Maybe talk to... Oh, let's talk to this garbage can. You definitely have something I want to hear. Mr. Garbage Can. I realize you haven't asked, but my name is Dr. Andonuts. I'm being forced to conduct various sorts of research by a certain man. Certainly, though, I'm trying to conceal myself for current reasons. I'm a bit occupied at the moment. Could you come back in a better time? Yeah, like when there isn't a chimera about. Do I have to actually use the uh, the elevator, or can I just go down? Maybe I go uh, yellow to yellow there. So let's try that. Let's give that a spin. That is, unless there's impending doom right in front of me. Well, there is this guy. Monkeys? Yeah, some ran through this door, actually. Well, let's go after them. Why didn't I run after them, you ask? Uh, because that thing sounds friendly. My stomach. It pains. Yeah, that ultimate... 
Chimera or Kimura or whatever it's called. I'd make quick work of it if I don't... If it weren't for my stomach. Like they say, you can't fight on an aching stomach. So I leave the rest to you. See ya, bye. There's an elevator here. Yeah, let's go to the basement of said elevator in question. As we make a leisurely stroll down. What's wrong with you? For part-timers, you sure work hard. You're really something. But you should probably get out of here as quickly as you are able to do so. Or else, bad things will be afoot. Like, whatever was made from that pork stew. The monkey. They let the red one out of its cage. We're done for. Always looks more... I, I look at the ultimate chimera as more of a pink. Than... Than red. But I guess it's like red... Like the color of blood. So back this way. You didn't happen to see monkeys run by, did you? Well, your back was turned. I guess you wouldn't. How about you? Are you too busy being dead? Yeah, I guess so. So let us try to get out of here. So far I'm doing better than I expected navigating this area. Other than that one part where I almost died because I was feverish. Uh... Floor 2, maybe? I don't know. This way. No, not this way. Maybe this way instead. Yeah, this way instead. Now maybe talk to you? No problem here. No problem here. Just leave it at that, would you? Oh, is there any heavy-handed hints about where the monkey went? No, I don't think so. It's a little, little tense there now. Where do midgets camp? In little tents. Hey! No problem here, my foot. Saltwater gun. Stop, stay away, this is my hiding spot. Come on now too, because there's gifts. Presents for me. Can I go to the third floor? Let's do that. Have I navigated to the third floor yet? I don't recall doing so. So maybe this is where the fruits of my labor shall be plucked from. No, I, I guess not. Do I just find them at this point? Uh, second floor. Let's try that floor. Then if it's not on the second floor, it might be on the minute floor. And if not that, the hour floor. Eh, nothing in here either. Well, maybe, uh... I'm not stuffed, I'm alive. I'm plenty alive, dang nabbit. And so is this treasure. Which contains a secret herb. Elevator in here. Maybe go in this one? This time on Mother 3, Mega Harv bumbling around the Chimera Lab. Wasn't that guy on the other side each time? Was that was that the joke? Was that the joke that I didn't get until maybe just now? Possibly. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna find them and then be like, this is where I found them, guys. Oh, it was just like, I probably won't even bother cutting that. I'll just be like, this is where I was, guys. And then you'll see it. So, uh, I don't know how in the height of all the Five Nights at Freddy's uh, fan games and the like, how there was never like a Five Nights at Porky's with the ultimate Chimera as like the jump scare. I just remembered this Chimera's weakness, so I mustered up the courage to come here. Its heartbeat 
just attack it to this heartbeat and you'll be fine. Oh, the monkeys will recognize us now that the hats are off. We didn't think of that. This is a high-tech, battery-operated chimera. In other words, if we, sweat, if we set the power switch on its back to off, it'll stop. It does have a ridiculously large mouth, like, halfway down its stomach. It couldn't even eat anything big enough that it would need a jaw so large to eat. It's like, there's only so much room in its belly. Unless you grind it up really fine. Was that Drago partially made from, uh... The Chimera? Oh no, it's just Comp USA remembering that Mega Harv helped him in the past. So he's going to stop the, the Ultimate Chimera himself. Somehow. There's a large button on its back. You need to press it. Come now. Be courageous. You do it. Use the dog as bait. I don't know, in this situation. Might use you as bait, Dr. Andonuts, or at least your trash can. That'd be good for one bite. I like how the sprite is located such a way that it looks like it's biting Mega Hive's head. Even though it's not lined up as such, it looks like that. Oh. Thank you, lad and monkey. I think I'll use this opportunity to leave the military and devote my life to making all living things happy. Like happy, happy, village happy? You agree with my idea? Thank you, Dao. I'm sorry I suggested using you as bait. So how about we take that chick and go about our way? And then we have nothing to worry about. Ever again. Comp USJ! Comp USA joined your party. Comp US, yay! Okay, Bone Rush, we'll go this way. And we'll just leave that chick there. Because, you know, it's not its counterbalance to its weakness. But yeah, if you even try to engage in combat with it, it just kills you outright. So don't do that if it happens to you. So I'm gonna keep going, because I don't think there's anything much else in there. That's... Does CompUSA still have all the stuff from Chapter 3? Yeah, but there's not even really much point in unequipping it. You might have other stuff I might want to pilfer. What kind of stuff do you have? No, no pilferable goods. It was worth a shot. Alright, Comp USA. Do what you were put on this planet to do. And dance. Like the silly monkey that you are. Whoa. There. All readjusted. Oh, I get to, uh... Uh, down. Oh, it's not down? Must be right. It's gonna be every direction but the one I push, apparently. Okay, it is. It is right. What if I don't collect all the dances when you're with Facade? It probably won't let you get to this point. But I would imagine it'd be a different dance, but maybe it just is the same dance. Just dance your life away, dance the night away. Dance your life away, dance the night away. It's probably lyrics to a song. I'm not sure, I could be wrong. Ooh, how tranquil. It's music. So tranquil. So how about we talk to, uh... This individual here. Oh, hey, Rolanda! Awesome, you really did show up here, Mega Harv. So nice to see you, Rolanda. Oh, you're here too, Comp USA? Comp US of A. It's great to see you again. Didn't know you were alive. Ow. Oh, and have you been Love Monkey? That seems like a derogatory name, Love Monkey. I don't know. Maybe I'm just hypersensitive. Introduce them to me, would you? Okay. I'm Megaharv. Yeah, sure. These are my friends. 
This is Comp USA, the monkey and his love monkey. Yeah, love monkey. So derogatory. And this dog is... What's the dog name? Bone Rush. His name's Bone Rush. Uh, Bone Rush the dog. See, she remembered your name, Bone Rush. Aren't you proud of her? So, Mad Gypsy. Come with me. I'll show you where the needle is. Oh, I bet you will, baby. Show me where that needle is. Oh yeah, I almost forgot Mega Harp. That's Doria, one of the seven Medjipshis. One of them. He saved me. Apparently that's what fate had in store. Oh, so it's a he. I thought it was deliberately ambiguous. Or they're just dudes that cross-dress. And there's nothing ambiguous about that. And I've just misconstrued it this whole time. I own it. Oh, Ionia told me you would come here. So, it's a good thing that you are unable to swim. Because if you're able to swim, you could just go into this water and pull the needle. But apparently you are unable to swim. So, we're gonna have to do some stuff to move this water. So let's go back to the Chimera Lab. I mean, I probably could have showed that there were, like, new monsters and stuff. But I feel like this episode's getting a little tight with time. And I'm just gonna cram story into the rest of this episode if you haven't figured that out yet. Very well. I'll lend you a helping hand. Achoo! I'm going to sneeze these three monsters into existence. Behold! I brought several of the chimeras I've been developing in secret. Take whichever one you think will be the most useful to you. Uh, it's not actually this guy or the Bucket Brothers. It's this this chap right here. Oh, that one, huh? That's a rather ho-hum chimera, known as a pump chimera. It's an extraordinarily ordinary creature that's really only useful when you need to transfer something from one place to another, such as pond water. You certain you want something as uninteresting as this? Do I ever? The other two, it just has a silly cutscene of them not working. One of them tries to air dry the pond dry, while the Bucket Brothers try to just bucket it into the other uh, watery hole there. Which, honestly, if you gave them enough time, they would have been able to do eventually. It just would have been rather time consuming. But this is about the quickest way of going about it. Because I don't believe our party could drink the water that vigorously. Look at him suck up the water. Like, how many sprites do you think that took just for this guy? Just for this one cutscene that you wouldn't really appreciate unless you thought about it. Unless it's not as complicated as I think it is, but I feel like they would have had to have made quite a few sprites there. But no matter, there is one of the needles and a fellow going off about his day, satisfied with the job well done. I could relate to being some sort of uninteresting monster that's good at only one thing ever, and that is removing water from needles. Hey, you gotta be good at something, so you may as well be good at that. So let us acquire this needle and get one step closer to the destination that we have decided to step towards. So let us be a little more dramatic about it, and then pull the needle. Thump thump, and another thump. That's inappropriate. There are children present. Okay, now pull it! <laughs> With all your might! Right before my very eyes. Easy! If this needle gets pulled, will you disappear like Aeolia did? Uh, probably. Because the needle won't need my protection any longer. The needle can only be pulled when the time comes. So when the needle is finally pulled, the time has come. We mad gypsies have lived our lives so that we can happily accept the fate when it comes. So don't worry, I'm not going to die. I'm just going to fade away like soldiers or TV stars or however the saying goes. Pull the needle. No. Now pull it. Pull it right out. Come on now. What's... What do you have to say, Bone Rush? Just bark, bark. And, and cheap, 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 the monkeys say. I'm not gonna wander any further than this, although I think the game would let me wander quite a distance. I have a sinking suspicion. 
that it would have allowed me to do so. So we have pulled a needle. So that's one for the good guys and one for the guys with no heart. So I guess by default, the good guys are winning. Because if no heart is no heart, then it's good versus nothing. And even if nothing is something, it's still... It's something first and nothing second. Whereas... Good is... Is also something first, but it's good second as opposed to nothing, which isn't much of anything. I hope that we're clear on that. Something awoke inside, Megaharv. Megaharv realized the power of PK subs to me, Beta. This really is the beginning of the end. The time has finally come for me to disappear. I never once imagined someone would show up at this tender girl's home to pull the needle. Disappearing while still young and beautiful. In one sense, it's bliss. Rolanda. Go with little Megaharv here and see things through to the end. I'm about to disappear youthfully and beautifully. Think about me sometimes, okay? Here, take this memento of me too. Oh my, your inventory is full. Oh well, too bad. Oh yeah, just... If your inventory is full, you just... Tough luck. Even though I think it just spawns in their, their seashell. So it's not really a big deal, it just makes you think that, it, that you goofed. When it's really not such a fuss. Ionia told me this a long time ago. What did Ionia tell you? When the dark dragon that's sleeping under the island wakes up, all's, all life and time will be reborn. Well, that's, uh, that's a good thing, isn't it? It's better than ending forever, I guess. I don't know what's gonna happen, I'm gonna see things through to the end. Megaharv, can I come along with you? I wanna go with you. Well, then come along with us, then. If, if you're not giving me the option, come along. The more the merrier. You have... You know a little bit of uh, PSI abilities that's actually very deadly. No, no, let's turn around and get that memento. Comp USA, we'll meet again. We just met again after all this time, but it looks like this is goodbye again. After defeating the ultimate chimera of all things. What's with that look? You're such a sentimental monkey. You're at least half of that. You're awfully senta. Let's get that next needle. Let's make like a haystack and hide needles well. What do you want, Comp USA? What is it? A nut? You're a nut, Comp USA. For me? I'm sure there's some comment I could make about giving Rolanda a nut, but she's probably like 15 still. And I'll just, yeah, never mind. Even though she was working in Club Titty Boo, which, like, implies you have to be a certain age to get in, so maybe you just, you're young. Can I actually go back in here? I can. So I should probably get... Why are you walking back in all so dramatically, like? Why can't you just speed it up? But I want to get the, uh, lipstick and razor. And try not to waste it. I will waste that magic butterfly, however. Receive Doria's memento. So now that I got that, I will save the game and pick up from where I left off. So, uh, let's save the game. And save down here, just in case. So thank you very much for joining me on, for this edition of Mother 3 with a Guitar Hero controller, even though it didn't really get a lot of action tonight. I still go by Megaharve. And join me next time!